Well, buying the latest technology can be tough and expensive, especially when a new, more advanced version seems to pop up every day. Ken is with uh, one of our resident nerds right now to <laughs> tell us when to save and when to splurge on technology. Hey, thank you, Mary. And standing by with Andrea of Nerds on Call. Good to see you again. How are you? Good. How about you? I'm fantastic. I'm going to embarrass you for a second, so of get course. ready. Can you step aside just for a second? Step aside. Okay, look how amazing this lady looks. She had a baby <laughs> three months ago. Her daughter, Isabel, is three months old today. She looks fantastic. Yeah. You're like, awesome, thank sugar. You. All right. Thank you. Okay, now enough of that nonsense. <laughs> All right, this is all about when to save and yes. when to splurge. And people kind of don't know when to do that, especially when you're talking about these high-tech gadgets. So. Absolutely, yeah. And everybody thinks you have to buy the top of the line. And you would expect me to tell you you have to buy top of the line. <laughs> and I should probably give the little caveat, which is I know there are people with special circumstances. If you're right. an engineer, if you're a graphic designer, you're going to need some specific equipment. But this right. is for the rest of us, okay. the rest of us that can get away with saving some money. So when it comes to a desktop tower PC, you actually do not have to buy top of the line. You really? can save. Um, the parts inside this are pretty interchangeable, so you can upgrade later if you need to. If a piece dies, you can pull it out and replace it pretty easily because it's got so much space to work with. So save on your desktop. Just find the best bargain that you can for mm -hmm. the money that you can spend. What you're going to want to spend your money on in this type of a setup is actually going to be on your monitor. Mm -hmm. Your monitor is going to be where you're going to notice every day what you're looking at, size and clarity of image. Mm -hmm. So spend the money on your monitor, save on your tower, so okay. that would be your save and your splurge. Now, when it comes to a laptop, that's actually not the case. Um, with a laptop, it's an all-in-one unit. It's a little bit more expensive to fix, to upgrade later. You're going to want to spend the money now. This is going to be your splurge item. Not to mention it's an all-inclusive unit, so your screen is all part of the same device. So you kind of need to make sure that you get something good from the beginning. Um, and you're also going to be banging it around a little bit more. Yeah. It's a laptop, so it's in your bag, mm -hmm. it's out, it's traveling with you, so you want something that's durable and it's going to last you. So a lot of folks would think that the <laughs> iPad would be a splurge item. You know, the reality is, when it comes to tablets, nobody needs a tablet. Um, I know, Cody's not I know, here, right? Cody's I know, not it's hard okay, to say. Cody, block your ears. <laughs> for the most part, it's an entertainment device. So, really, you don't want to spend for top-of-the-line item. Um, my recommendation with the iPad is actually, since they just came out with the third-generation right. iPad, is the perfect time to get an iPad 2. Exactly. There's not a huge difference between the two versions right now for the basic user, if you're using it for entertainment, and you can actually it's the only time you can save with an Apple device is when they come out with a exactly. new one. So now's the time and save if you can. Um, just try and remember that it's an entertainment device and it's for fun. Now I would think that with your connecting cables you would need to go high end to make sure that you don't interrupt your connection. You always have a nice strong connection, no? You would think that, but you know what I, I liken cables to are the fruity drinks of the technology yeah. industry. Um, it's really where a lot of big box retailers make their money. These cables cost like two dollars, mm -hmm. but you buy them off the shelf at a big box retailer and you're spending 20 to 50 dollars so um, they're the same really you don't need the gold plating I promise you'll be all okay right. all right that's gonna do it we're gonna send uh, put most of this information on gooddaysacramento.com link it to show info Andrew thank you so much good to see you and you Thanks. look fantastic thank you tell baby Isabella we said hello absolutely that's nerds on call Marianne back to you thanks and if you need help from nerds on call here's a phone number for them 800-919-NERD they're just on the Carmichael Sacramento line 4315 Marconi Avenue